we got a lot of shit to talk about, bro. We got we got World War Three. We got Korean sized penises. We have Tory Lanes, Meg the Stallion. About, about Korean penis? It's a topic. I mean wait, are we doing the intro all over again? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing it all over again. Uh, uh we got a debate that I wanted to do with you called is math was math discovered or was it created I've, i saw mm -hmm. some very intellectual people discussing this and i thought it'd be funny of so us to you <laughs> you picked me it. oh i, I see what we'll we discuss it you got and you got me an intellectual gotcha and then steven you added a topic here it says don't say gay bill i'm not 100 what that is it sounds familiar i think i know what you're talking about but we'll get to it um welcome to from the chat podcast episode 44 I'm Christian, and we got Steven Sabretooth, Chopstick Steve. Chopstick yep. Steve. Can you be Chopstick Steve? Nah, you could call me. Uh, Is that cultural egg. appropriation? You can't be Chopstick Steve. I don't know, but you can call me. Uh, you can call me Egg. Egg. Yeah. Why would I call you Egg? Cause I'm lit. Oh right. my god! Clip it. <laughs> Live it. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> All right, yo. Uh, Steven, okay, so you're in a good mood. How's your week? You been good? Chilling, yeah. Great. That's great. That's great. My week has been full of World War Three in my timeline. And I don't know if anybody listening knows, but our foreign journalist, our international journalist, is actually here with us today. As he goes by the name of Steven Egg Batista. Steven, so can you break down what the hell is happening in Russia and Ukraine? What's going on? From the, from the top, from the top. Break it down for us. Since like the 1990s or? Uh, no, let's, let's, let's get a little closer. Let's get a little closer than that. Basically, they shooting. They shooting back. <laughs> you know what I mean? Bada bing, bada boom. That's you know it. Mean? A little bomb here, a little bomb there. Nah, a little uh, bomb me... never hurt nobody. A little bomb never hurt nobody. You know what I mean? All right, but on a serious note, um, unfortunately, Russia is invading the Ukraine uh, for fuck. Who the fuck knows why? It's not like they got oil, ego. you know? I get yeah, probably ego. Um, only because he's never been able to capture. It's just been happening since 2014. Happened before, and it just has never been successful. Still isn't successful. I hope he's not successful. So there's been tension there. There's been tension there for a there's while. Al there's always been tension. Yeah, there's always yeah. been like little mini wars and, and they, they were having like a were they having a civil war? No. A civil <laughs> they having a civil I I read somewhere like they were having a civil war. I was laughing because of the vacuum. Um, yeah, 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 but <laughs> I was trying to ignore it. <laughs> no, no, it's not a civil war. What the fuck is a civil war? A civil war is when its own country is fighting itself, like the north and the south in the U.S. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm okay. Trying to think. so they've had okay. So passing that. So they, they've had tension for a little while now, and yes. Putin decided, you know, this ain't no better day than today to go ahead and invade our neighbor. So they went next door, and uh, predictable, right? Because people think we're assuming this is bound to happen. Yeah. Eventually, eventually happened. We're here now, and all these stories are coming out of the Ukraine. Of them lighting Russia up. There's a lot of dope stories. I saw a new one today. So mm -hmm. the first one I saw that was kind of dope. Actually, yeah, the first one is Vitali Klitschko. If you don't know who he is, he's like a multi. Oh, he's, he's a. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. He's a heavyweight champion. He's also the mayor of Kiev or Kiev, however you pronounce it, in the Ukraine, which is the capital city. And he suited up and he's like, "All right, we're gonna have to take these motherfuckers down barehanded." Then. Boom. His hands are legally weapons, but imagine his hands with a that's a, with that's a like weapon. weaponception. That's weaponception, you know what I mean? Yeah. He, he we got weapons on his weapons. Weapons on his weapons. It's looking like he grows it. Yeah, bro. That's that's insane. My favorite story to come out is has been the president, the president of uh Ukraine. I don't know his There's name. There's a lot. There's a lot but, of good stories. But the story that came out that said that the US offered to send him <laughs> a plane to evacuate the city. Yeah. He was like He's like, I need ammunition, not a ride. Yeah, I know. I saw that. Hi, yeah, bro. That rem the president of Ukraine is like the the fucking the violin player from the Titanic. 
<laughs> like he's like, nah. Oh, boy. while it's sinking. <laughs> yeah, while it's sinking, he's like, nah, boy. I'm staying he's right cap- here. He's the captain of his ship, dog. Go, Go down, down with, with your ship. Go down with it. There's also there's also the story of uh, Snake Island where they got approached by a Russian boat or a Russian Fire. warship, and they were like, yo, uh, you got to surrender. And they all, I think it was 13 of them, all 13 of them were like, go fuck yourself. And unfortunately, they didn't work out too well for them, but that's dope as fuck. They'll be remembered, whereas the people who lit them up will never be remembered. 100%. 100%. Um, uh, people, the ghost, people, ghost, ghost, uh, Kiev. What's the name? yeah, go ahead. What is it? Uh, tell people about that. That was the story, story too. He's well, so an ace in, in the Air Force is once you've killed or destroyed five of the opposing or the opponent's uh, equipment or killed them um, in the Air Force. Uh, dog fighting, dog fighting is you know, shooting at each other with birds or Michael Vick. Oh, no, okay. no, 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 not Michael Vick. Dog <laughs> fighting is dog fighting is basically shooting at each other in the skies, right? Using your plane. He's gotten well so far. I saw that he's at seven now. His count was six within a day. He's at seven now. And then there's um the Reaper of Ukraine who has a body count of twenty so far. Wait, who's that? I didn't hear about that. Who's that? That the one I Reaper heard about today. The Reaper of Ukraine. Some soldier who apparently has a body count of twenty confirmed kills. Wow. I just saw a video of like there's a guy showing a bunch of different Russian patches from like. Oh, uh, I soldiers. seen that too. I seen that too. Yeah. So safe to say it's not going the way Putin thought it was gonna go. Uh well, yeah, not yet. But unfortunately, his military is much bigger than a third world country like fucking just, Ukraine. He'll just keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, he doesn't well, so it's, it's not it's not it's not his it's not him who's dying, you know what I'm saying? Of course. He's just using his people. So is is it a safe assumption to say eventually he will take it over? Either that I don't or Either without intervention, or some, yeah, without intervention, yeah. without intervention. If nobody else steps in, eventually he's going to take it. Uh, eventually, yeah, Ukraine will run out of people. But That's a, so. I don't think I don't think it's soon. I hope it's not soon. I hope it ends soon. But I hope it ends on you know best possible scenario for the Ukrainians. Yeah. Fuck Russia. It's crazy. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of Russian soldiers who have turned themselves in. And they're like, yo, we don't actually want yeah. to fight. There's a lot of protests happening in Russia. Yeah, but those are like Russia is apparently like saying that there's only one casualty, and I'm like, my fucking ghost got six and Reaper got twenty, bro. What are you talking about? Yeah. Yo, yeah. that's that's so dope, man. To be called the ghost of Kiev. Yeah, that's a fire name too. Yeah, that sounds that sounds like a movie. It probably will be. It would either be a movie or a video game. Uh, so. One of our listeners wrote in St. Petersburg is being blocked by protesters. Oh, yeah, that's uh Vladimir's hometown. And Florida? And most- no motherfucker. St. Petersburg <laughs> <and> fucking <laughs> imagine all the Russians are in St. Petersburg in here. Fl- like they're in Florida. <laughs> oh wow, that's that's fire. That's fire. Wait, but Steven, you you're more interested in this foreign. Like you're more informed, anyways. Not interested. I'm saying you're more informed in this foreign. How, wait, how do you say foreign affairs? affairs? You're you're more yeah. you're more uh, informed in this foreign affairs than than us or anybody in our group chat. You're usually up to date on some of that. Well, besides but, German, but Germans and old heads, uh, yeah, yeah. everything. Yo, shut up, son. <laughs> I love how you said shut up, and the big one gets in it. <laughs> But yeah, I am the second or maybe the most informed in our group chat. What were you gonna ask me? So tell me the tell me the difference between this, the support we see Ukraine having versus oh. when when we're in Iraq or we're in Syria. Like what was is there a hypocrisy there? Like what's the difference uh, if there's a there's difference? A, there is a bunch of there's a ton of differences. It's, it's 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 not as public as this Ukrainian war is, you know what I mean? I it, the Ukrainian stuff has been going on for a while, just as long as Syria has been going on, because probably it's I think it's still going on over in Syria. The main difference is honestly skin tone. Let's be real. Oof. All right. Mm. As ugly because, and as it sounds, whenever brown or black people are hurting, the world don't care. That's tough. That's tough. And I see that um I see that like in the coverage, everything is super supportive, super love to yeah, Ukraine. Yeah. Saying like every everybody gets an AK, yo, support for them. Yeah, even even in in um even in 
big uh, sporting events, right? You had a lot of, there was a UFC fight last night. There was a couple of them who were like, oh, my prayers are for with the Ukraine. I'm like, yo, Russia has been backing this war against Syria for a while now. Like, what's the difference here? You know what I mean? Uh, um, FIFA has banned Russia from having home games or even uh, a lot of owners have given up their teams and stuff like that. And I'm like, well, why Why is yeah. Russia still allowed to play when Syria is under attack? You know what I mean? So my question is, I, I, don't, I'm not, I'm not, not, I don't understand what the end game is here for uh, Russia. No one knows what the like, fuck the end game is. Well, the end game is essentially he, Russia has to pay import tax because they only have one port during the winter, right, yeah. in Russia. Because uh, all the other ones are frozen. So most of their stuff has to come in from the Ukraine because that's their bordering country. So um, is... So, is by taking Ukraine, are they more self sufficient? Because if they if the whole world is cutting them off, like what do they do after? Kinda, it, well, I'm not cutting them off, like more sanctions and taxing them, and like eventually, shit's gonna go back to fucking normal, where we're gonna need stuff from them, and they're gonna need stuff from us. Unfortunately, so this won't. And I'm sure Putin knows that this won't last forever. You know what I mean? This whole yeah. sanctioning and, and pay a couple bucks and 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 the for taking over a whole nother land with nuclear power and more ports, I guess. Yeah. And just paying a couple bucks. The ports, there's also shit ton of income. But because there's no really there's uh there was I heard there was one raw mineral there. I don't remember what it was called. Um but it's I think it was so Del Mio commented he said I don't think it's going to get too far. Putin needs to die on some Caesar shit. <laughs> okay. Somebody, somebody gonna walk up and be like, "Eh, tu Putin?" Is exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> oh wait, no, oh, Brute is God. the is the guy who stabbed. Brute. Putin. Uh, I mean, Brute is the guy who stabbed. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we, it gotta be somebody else. Oh my God! Um, World domination to control the drowning economy since the Soviet collapse. I mean, doesn't everyone? Doesn't every dictator want world domination though? You look at world Hitler. Domination. I don't know. That's a little dick energy, bro. Brain, what are we gonna do today? Take over the world, Pinky. Take over the world. Hey, that's some little dick energy. Uh one more thing before we leave uh Russia and Ukraine. Um, I wanted to address this eight men from the age of 18 to 60 can't flee, they have to stay. Yeah. Uh, that's 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 like basically a draft martial law listen i'm a feminist first and foremost i'm a feminist aren't steven are you are you following me so far are you in agreement so far uh if you're a feminist let's go with yeah let's go with yeah you're a feminist no and are you agreeing are you a feminist as well uh i'm more of a egalitarian but yeah let's say yeah explain that to me what is that it means equal rights for everyone isn't that what feminists isn't that what that means? Um, unless you're an extremist, yes, that's what feminism is. Okay, so, so what does this 18 to 60 year old men have to stay, and women and children can leave, or is this not doesn't apply since it's not in America? Like feminist equal rights is only here in America. What's going on? I think it's a little more on. Well, they don't. They really can't expend everyone to stay there and die. You know what I mean? Hey, damn. I mean, <laughs> Stay there and die. That's rough. That's rough. That's that's worst case scenario. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. best case scenario, they don't have to go anywhere. You so obviously think on the worst case scenario is feminism out the window in times of war, in Not times of tragedy. Not for me. I can't get drafted, so they got to send the women in my family. Wait, wait. You can't get drafted because you're the um on the air. You're the heir of the name. Yep. Damn. You, my boy. Yeah, you go. Oh, you this, is, this is all I wanted to tell everybody. Yo, everybody listening, if you signed up for that FAFSA and you got some aid, you remember when you when you hit OK to being drafted, <laughs> like you agreed to be drafted. And you know what's funny of a war sign? Yo, get ready, baby, because if we go and you got that financial aid, baby, you got that two thousand three thousand dollars checks that were coming in and you blew it on on Kanye West tickets and fucking gold watches like me. <laughs> You're going to war. You know what's funny? I almost didn't take financially just because I was like, I don't want to sign this. I don't want this. But... And then I realized that I'm the heir to the name, and I was like, can't pick me. Boom. 
That's but either way, I, I don't know. Uh, oh, if, this is a good the, point. Hold on. This is a good point. She says, um, a listener says, it's, it's probably because there's a four to one population shortage ratio. Men outnumber globally four to one, which is why it's not compulsory for women to stay. I stand corrected. That makes sense. That makes sense. Wait, so if men, she said four to one globally? Yeah, men outnumber globally four to one. So when so when people give you advice and tell you there's plenty of women in the world, they're lying. No, I think they say there's seven billion people on this planet is what people say. You don't have to only go after women. Listen, bro. <laughs> oh, wait. Can I identify as a woman and not go to war and draft? Uh, I don't think they give a fuck at that point. No. Damn. I think it's based. I think it's based off of your papers at that point. Yo, what, what do you feel like? What do you feel obligated to go? <laughs> well, me? Or are you talking? Yeah. About? Like if 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 it, it comes to that, yo, World War Three, let's get this draft. We need more people. Will you feel obligated to go? Hell no. No, not for this country. Hell no. You wouldn't feel guilty. You wouldn't feel like maybe you should. Nope. You know who minds their business? You know who minds their business? Who? The Dominican Republic. And that's why today's you know that's why today is the Independence Day. It is. Woo! But um, damn, I don't even have the hookah busting on Independence Day. That's crazy. Man, that's blasphemy. We're gonna, we gonna take a commercial break and I'm gonna have to set it up. But anyway, no, we're not. <laughs> we're going straight, <laughs> straight through. We're going straight through, baby. That is but insane. Anyway. Uh, everybody listening uh, right now, um, all three of y'all. If you have any questions <laughs> <laughs> or topics you want to throw out, like while we're recording, we can get to it. That'll be done. That'll be fun. Yo, make sure so you go ahead. like the video on TikTok. It's okay. blowing up again. Um, so what were you saying, Stephen? Um, people who the, the country that minds the business, Dominican Republic. You know where I'm gonna go and hide? Dominican Republic. Listen, who wants Delo, to take over the Dominican Republic? Delo Mio says we definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. mind our business. So, all right, listen, listen. This this is this is the distinction. No, there's mad cheese, right? There's mad uh gossip, but the gossip is around, you know, family no, no, no. and around the ahuka, around some some drinks. No, no, no. That's the, the gossip's the, at. You know, as long as the gossip is safe, Dominicans will not mind their business, right? So, but if you hear shooting, Dominicans are gone. They're out. They're like, no, we're not dying here. Loco a corre. You know, so as soon as a gun goes off, Dominicans are like, now nah, we out. I don't care what happened. But we were there for every minute of the cheese mint up until the guns go off. Yeah, 100%. 100%. And then the next day, we're talking about the cheese mint and the guns that went off after the cheese yeah. mint and everything. Because there, there, there are some crazy lunatics who's going to stick around for, for the gunfire and be like, yo, this man got shot in the leg. And that's how all the stories get out. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a way, in a way, that person is an international journalist or he's just there to spread the word. You know, you need that. You know, you got We got to send them to to, to Russia. <laughs> Yo, Dominicans in Russia in the middle of all this, <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro, I got a, I got a, I got a meme sent to me, and it was. It says, hold on. It says the Russians when they hear Mama Gue will see twenty thousand Honda Civics blasting a loud fire over the horizon. <laughs> Yo, somebody has to make that video of you know, you know those movies that that are set in in ancient times where like the people coming over the mountains and just arrows coming out. Yeah, yeah. imagine just mad hatchback Honda Civics coming over a mountain. That's a funny visual. That's nah, funny it's a, it's it's a tank coming over to like the the because it's usually them looking down and they see that. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so it's a tank coming up to to the the, the edge of a cliff and they see hell of Civics. That's Honestly, they wouldn't—they wouldn't be able to see anything. It'd just be mad hookah smoke. You know what I mean? It'd be like a cloud. Smoke, hookah smoke, and they'll, they'll just feel vibrations <laughs> from the bass. <laughs> del bajo. Just for mad break, mad fucking bass. That's funny. So that's Honestly, funny. that's the, that's that's tactical. Honestly, the hookah smoke yeah. is tactical. Yeah, you can't course. see us. You can't shoot us. You know what I mean? If we all <laughs> smoke a hookah at the same time, they can't see us. That's true. That's true. That's true. But then you can have mad soldiers smoking hookah. That's crazy. Oh, you know the. I Stephen told me that there is a a there is a controller and no there's an attachment oh, yeah, yeah. to a controller where you can yeah. put your hookah hose and you can smoke hookah while playing. Yeah. The, so then they'll just make that for like an AK forty seven. They'll just have like an attachment to the AK so you can smoke hookah while you're going. You don't pl you don't play video games, but there's a they actually have a hookah gun in Call of Duty. No, they don't. I swear to God, the guys Adonis bought it. 
Oh the guy's my. holding a gun. He's uh, holding a gun. Shout, shout out to Adonis. And then he takes on the side of the gun is a hookah. He pulls the hookah off. He takes a hit of it and he puts it back. Oh my god! I That's swear to God. Funny. This shit is fucking wild. I thought about buying it too, but I don't play that game no more. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Uh, let's move on to a different topic, Steven. Let's do this, bro. I've seen some people talk about this. Uh, I saw you always, some intellectuals. You always, you, always, you always worry me when you're like, yo, let's do something. No, 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 no. I don't know what to expect. Th- this one is not as as um this is flagrant. safe. Yeah, this one's a little this one's safe okay. as, <laughs> as any other debates that I bring up. This one's safe. Is is math discovered or was it created? Uh, now, now Steven, math one plus one. Pythagorean's theorem, all this stuff, right? Was it discovered? Like, did we find out this exists, or did we make it up? Right? I think it's discovered. You think it's discovered? Yeah. All right, then I'm gonna have to go the other way. Nah, bro, we created that shit. Fuck out of here. How was it discovered? Tell me how it was discovered. We just put, we literally just put a name on it, right? It's, for example, you, the first human being looked down, saw a dick, and they're like, "All right, we're gonna just put a label on this. This is now a dick, but it's always been there." Dick is not math. Dick is not math. What are you talking about? What do you mean? It has always <laughs> been there. <laughs> you're, you're, what you're talking about right now is language. You're talking no, about we, language. We literally put a label on it. Math has always been there. Oh, my God. You take one dinosaur and another dinosaur, you can make a third dinosaur. As our listener says, it was made up as a way of explaining universal mathematical truths. There you go. I got one person agree with me. Nah, she said it was made up. You said, <laughs> wait, you said it was created? What am I arguing? <laughs> you should have wrote it down. I said it was discovered. Discovered, okay. And, and she she's, said she's, it was it She's kind of agreeing. On, she's kind of agreeing with both of us. I ain't gonna lie yeah. to you. Yo, hold on. She's, Yo, is that, with both of us. Is that, is that, a, is that Zenny? Zenny? That's Zenny, yeah. Yo, is, is she a politician? <laughs> is she? That's kind of good. That's good. You agree with both of us. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> we was about to argue the shit out of each other, even yeah, though she's yeah. like, I picked, I was on both sides. Yeah, look, you see how she just neutralized us? That's amazing. Yeah. Um, that was good. nah, that was bro, good. it was created. We created it. No, one hundred percent created it. There's just a label there. It's always been there. Science okay, so, has always so, been there. Okay, so so go on, go on on your point. Let me hear you out. All right. For example, if you were to take ice and put it out in the sun, we didn't make that. We didn't make melting ice. It's always been there. But we've learned or labeled a specific number to keep ice frozen, which would be 32 degrees Fahrenheit, correct? Or zero degrees Celsius. We've just labeled these things. Steven. Uh, that's, that's hard to come back from. I know. It's all good. <laughs> Steven, 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 Steven. We're talking about math, bro. We're talking about one plus two. We're talking about Pythagoras One plus two has always been there. No. We just put, was... we just put a number and a label on it. No, we created it. The, we created it. We made language, no. and we made language. No, said, no. Okay, here's another ahead. example. Here's another okay, example. Go, 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 go. For so we're gonna talk about like Neanderthal men, right? They always knew. Yo, that watch your mouth. More watch your apples. Mouth. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. I ain't no Neand- you Neanderthal. Mean? You mean? We we always knew that more apples was better, right? We ne- there was never a number or a label to the apples, right? So hypothetically speaking, if they were to trade or barter, they'd be like, here, I have X amount of apples to give you. Now give me one T Rex tail or whatever the fuck it is that they're buying. I don't know the but, fucking. But the T Rex tail only equals the amount of apples if we put value in that amount of apples. If we create an, a value there in that system, it was that's, created. That's not true. That's not true because Bro, value if, is. If, is, I'm, is, if, if at I'm at this if, point, hold on. If I'm a Neanderthal and I'm I'm a smart Neanderthal, Neanderthal. How do you say how you say it again? Say it again. Neanderthal. How you say it? If I'm Neanderthal? a smart Neanderthal, whatever, whatever. I am. I'm marketing this apple. One apple a day keeps a doctor away. I'm I'm marketing it so it's more valuable than whatever else I'm trying to trade. And I'm creating value. I'm creating it. I'm adding yeah, to but, it. But the thing is, we already knew that two is better than one. We just didn't know it was two. You understand what I'm saying? We already we, knew that two of them were better than one. Not better. We knew right. we knew two was more of right. Like oh, yo, yeah, I have but... I have one cup, or I have now I have more cups. Not two. Yes. Two, now is, we two put, is language. Two is language. I have. We, more we, yeah, problems. we put a label on it. Yeah, we created. That's all we did. Yeah. No, no, we put a label <laughs> on it. It's already there. We already knew in our brains that 
more is better. All right, hold on. So let's let's go to our listeners. Hold on. So Zenny says, truth exists. Systems are created to understand those truths. She, so, she's doing it again. She's, she's doing it again. She's doing it again. She's doing it again. We're both right. No, 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 no. <laughs> I listen, listen. All right. So going back to the war real quick. This is not an example. This is what Zenny's <laughs> doing. So Putin had to sit down with like the leader of the KGB or whatever, which is like the Russian spies. And he asked him directly. He was like, oh, what do you think about the war? And the Russian spy kind of just beat around the bush. You could see he was trembling, scared as fuck. And he was beating around the bush, but uh, he was trying to say that he didn't agree with the war, right, with the invasion. At the end, Putin gets upset, and he's like, can you give me a straight-up fucking answer? And the guy's like, no, I don't agree with your with your thing. What she's doing is what he was doing at the beginning. He was kind of beating around the bush, not giving an exact answer. I got we, you. Need, we need an exact answer as to who the winner is here. I got you, I got you. You know what? You know, I I uh, I concur. Let's uh let's move on. Let's move on. There's because oh, we can stay yeah. here and, and talk about math. <laughs> Fucking being discovered, created all day. Let's move on. Um, so Stephen, should we talk about this? Don't say. Actually, let's, let's ask uh Delo Mio and uh, Zenny. Should we talk about don't say gay bill? Should we talk about academics, Tory Lanes, and Meg Thee Stallion arguing? Uh, or should we talk about? This white influencer who changed his race to Asian and now wants a Korean-sized penis reduction. Which one? Of, which one of those three should we talk about? Honestly, we could have done. We could do. No matter to me. We could touch up on the bill real quick. I right. explain what it is. Spread right. some awareness. All right, tell me about it. All right, so basically, the bill is. Uh, something passed in Florida and in Texas, you know, the anti, super anti LGBT, anti women states. Gay. Um, and basically, the don't say gay bill is basically not teaching historical things in the classroom about uh, uh, LGBT and or gay. Um, oh, this is a critical race theory, theory but for gays. Mm, kind of, yeah. I see what you're saying. Okay. So, yeah, they don't want it taught in the classroom. And then also there's some people, I don't know, I, that's kind of what I got from some of the articles. I also got that in the articles they were making it like uh, punishable if you said gay or LGBT in in school at all, you know. Um, so, are, so are they not wanting to teach students of a certain age what gay is or they don't want to teach the history of gay rights? Well, both. But either way, it's fucking dumb just... If a teacher chooses to teach a specific curriculum, I, also I think it's important that kids kids know what they what they want or what they like or who they are yeah. actually. Representation in the classroom. Yeah. yeah. Or That's not even just the classroom in, in history. Hmm. You know what I mean? Well, I well, what's the argument to not teach them that? To not teach them history? What's the argument there? I mean, fucking Florida and Texas. What's the argument against fucking anti-abortion? Religious. It's maybe the same stupid. thing. St maybe that's stupid. Maybe it falls in the same line. Religious. I'm. By the way, I'm also religious, but I think it's fucking stupid. I think religion is one of the stupidest things on this planet. Um. Well, I think it's stupid when you me. take it and, and you manipulate it to yeah that part to extreme measures. Hmm. Don't say gay, Bill. Hmm. What do you think? If I, right, Stephen, you run, you you're running the country. Boom. What age do you start um, teaching students about gay stuff? Mm, maybe around six. Once you start communicating with other kids, right? I feel like that's a good time to teach them what 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 it is to be gay, and that there's nothing wrong with it. Because growing up, I ain't gonna lie, I was one of these people. I said the word for everything, and I called people that word for no reason at all, like none. Yeah. I'm in the first. I'm in the first grade, and I'm calling people. You know, comes to the times, yeah. The, the f word. I mean, I was, fault. I was in first grade telling people I was lesbian because I like girls. Yeah, me too. And I was being. That's an what I'm idiot. saying. That's, yeah, I was being an idiot, and now Drake said that shit in his fly. Like, fuck out of here. <laughs> I was saying that since the f first grade. I, 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 listen, future. I have a bone to pick with that man. Okay. He he said, "I'm not lesbian. I'm pesbian, and I don't know what that means." <laughs> what is pesbian? What you, is you that? Have, you have, I think it's from the song "Push and P." Oh my god! <laughs> what <laughs> is 
lesbian. Or nah. he says she's not lesbian, she's pesbian, something like that. And um, I don't know if I'm oh getting my... old and I can't so, keep up with the slang no more. So is this just like um is this just like Lil Wayne when he said Weezy F baby and the F is for like phenomenal or something like that? Or yeah, but that's cool. Is... That's cool, and that makes sense. It's a little pun play on words. Yeah. Let me see. You googling pesbian? I'm I'm googling pesbian. I need to see what's going on. I got I got I'm going to rap genius pesbian. Oh, we got we got a message from Zenny. She said. Uh, she says, uh, a lot of political figures lean on religion to determine their policies because they struggle to separate morality from factual obligation. It's a bit of a trend. Oh, I was going to say trans travesty. Sorry. Against equal human rights. Yeah. It's, it's always like, it's always, you believe in something and you use whatever vehicle the public will accept to get to that belief. Right. So if I believe in uh, anti-abortion and I know, all right, how do I get people to not do this? Whatever my whatever my intentions are, maybe me believing in that is, is helping fund another business, like whatever my intentions are. Let's say that's what I want to do. And I'm like, all right, how can I get the public to agree with me on this? OK, I can use the vehicle of religion to have them agree that this is bad. Even if I'm not necessarily religious, I can use that vehicle to get here. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um. So, good point. Good point. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. She says, "Drop the dot, and then we plot." Exotic peas. She not a lesbian for P. She turned pesbian. Pushing P. I'm pushing P. <laughs> Hold on. What does it she, mean though? She's not a lesbian for P. Hold on. All right, hold on. All right, so Rap Genius says P in this line refers to Future's <clears throat> nickname Pluto, which is also ah. the title of his debut album, Turning Pesbian. Means she is attracted to Pluto or Future along with other women. <laughs> so he's saying these lesbians, when they're with him, they turn Pesbian, which is a lesbian who likes women but also likes Future. Okay, it makes sense now. Okay. You know, I really don't think that's what that means, or that he thought that deeply of it. He just you know threw that thing in there. No, she yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, you hold on. Does rap genius like confirm things with artists, or are they just like I, I think I, don't know. I think well, this some is what of them, Some of them are like not written by you know like confirmed people. You know what I mean? Some of them mm -hmm. are written by people who read the shit and come up with shit. Like for example, I was talking to your cousin who makes music, right? Shout out Alex, and. Here. I asked him one of the lyrics in one of his songs, and I was like, yo, what does this mean, bro? And he was like, whatever you want it to mean. And I'm like, what? Yeah. And he's like, exactly. And then walked away from me, and I was like, bro, what? What does that mean? <laughs> it just sounded dope. It just sounded dope yeah. together. I mean, some of it is that, because some people, when they record music, like, they won't even put lyrics to the song. They'll put, like, sounds to the song. Yeah. So like if if you watch Kanye's listening party for the for Don the Two, there's some songs in there where it's just him like humming, figuring out. So it's a song that's not finished, but he's humming trying to figure out like the flow that he wants to do and the sound. So then once you figure out that flow or that sound, then you add lyrics to fill that in. So right there, like your lyrics might not make sense, but if it, it follows that flow, and you just make it make sense later, you know. You know the make it up as you go. Make it up as you go, Stephen. Now, no, well, I would not do a transplant. <laughs> yo, let me, yo, let me go. Let me in my head, bro. Stephen, what would it take for you to get a Korean size penis reduction? What's the difference? I have, I have a lot of problems with this. I have a lot of problems with this with this story. Um, for you, for y'all, for y'all that don't know, this story is of a white influencer who wants to be asian so he got a bunch of asian uh facial features uh uh with surgery so he used surgery to get these facial features and now he's going as far as to say he wants a korean size penis reduction and my issue here is is 
this person being stereotypical this person being stereotypical yeah because like who how do you know what the average penis size in korea are you just using asian stereotypes to like I, oh i want a reduction like or are you out here stuck in korean well, cocks and you got and you have references like what like what is like why do you want a reduction i just i don't understand that maybe was he trying to be funny or bro he got like 20 surgeries on his face to be an asian Motherfucker oh, so he's that ass. Yeah, he turned he turned to Bruce Lee. He's not he's not joking. <laughs> he's serious about it. That man, he, so he's I think he's yeah, being, also, I think he's using stereotypes. Yeah. And I think I think I think he should be canceled. Fuck it. Want to cancel people? That's it. Cancel him. That's it for that. Not for not for turning not for turning getting Asian eyes. <laughs> not, not for that. I think he got Asian eyes. I think he tried to make his like nose and mouth like kind of Asian too in surgery. Not for that. For this penis reduction, that's nice cross the line. Cross the line. Because he's sending a message. Asian. He's sending a message that Korean people have uh, smaller penises, and that's fucked up. Is that's that fucked up? And I stand. I don't know, but I stand with my Koreans. You feel me? Like, don't be. Don't assume. Like, because you know what this is. This adds to the stereotype. And then this is low-key body shaming. Yeah, it as stereotype is body shaming. And then now you're gonna have these people looking at Koreans like or these girls looking at the Koreans making jokes and um seeing them as non-sexual beings, which I've here is already an issue. Like, and this is just adding to it. Nah, fuck that. Fuck that. Also, also you gotta remember it's 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 not about the size of the boat. You feel me? Look at Ukraine. And look at Russia. Look how big Russia is, and they losing. It's not about the size of the country. You know what I mean? It's about it's the, how many eighteen the, to sixty year old men you got there to add to your army to fight. Nah, it's, while the women and children the, leave. Sorry, it's about ahead. the it's about the fight in your heart, bro. It's about uh, the desire, fire and desire. You feel me? I got you. I got you. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, man. I don't. I think that. I think this. Uh, White influencer just crossed the line. I think he crossed the line. Uh, I think he done lost his mind. That's true. Man definitely lost his mind. But he, he, he crossed the line a long time do? ago. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Are you gonna? If somebody wanted to turn Dominican and they did whatever, it's hard to turn Dominican because we're a, a rainbow. Anybody can literally anybody. You look at them, they can be Dominican. Anybody. If you're listening right now, look in the mirror, you can be Dominican. That's how wide range of um what's the word here, Steven? That's how wide what you want to do, what you want to do, what you want to do is mm -hmm. while you're looking in the mirror, hold the plantain or a hookah, whichever the two are more readily available, mm -hmm. and look in and repeat after me. Dominicano soy, and that's it. And so then you Dominican. Sooner or later, the more you repeat that, the more you're gonna start sounding like like um that's Tony Tony Rosario, right? Tony Rosario. Yeah. yeah. The more Rosario. and more you're gonna start sounding. Listen, listen, like you manager. might you you might get a job offer from T-Mobile. Your shirts will probably shrink. It's higher, but these are just yeah. these are yep. just the things that come come with the Tony. brand. Uh, yeah, exactly. you're not you're not gonna drink Starbucks no more. It's gonna be Bustelo. Bustelo, that's it. Um. You're gonna start communicating at a higher uh, volume level. You'll be speaking a lot faster. Yo, uh, I did not even see all of these. All of these. Zenny, comments. Zenny, Zenny says uh, Central and South America has some of the broadest spectrum of physical variances. Variances. I. Yeah. Yeah, I would. I would agree. I think a lot of uh, influences or a lot of uh, mixtures of people exist there too like just just like dominican republic hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. i think i won the argument here you never posted the comment up no what? zenny said you are lol but I, that's when i asked who's the winner i think she was talking nah. about me no 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 she said no no that's that's when i said that's when i said i think we're both right no 
And no, she said you are. There's a reason I didn't know about these comments until now. You was hiding these shits. Nah, I was posting some of these. I was posting some of these. What you mean? Nah, nah, nah. nah. Where's the producer? <laughs> Where's the producer? Yo, Where's the... I'm the producer today. I'm running the show. Damn, Steven. I never made that open. What? <laughs> we're nearing we're nearing our end here. Is there, is there a topic you want to touch before we end the show here? Um you want to talk about the TikTok? <laughs> this guy. Hold on, before we go, Zenny said nope was saying you guys are arguing the exact same point, so you're both right. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. I'm a, I'm gonna take that to mean I was right. I appreciate it. Denny, we'll, we'll argue about this for the next few weeks, but I appreciate it. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, if you're listening, go to our TikTok and blow that shit up. Um, make sure you're 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 subscribed to the channel. Steven, tell them tell them the whole the whole get up. Are we done? Yeah. Oh, uh, you didn't want to talk about the TikTok? Was there talk talk about TikTok? What is there to talk about? I mean, how do you feel about what she said? So basically. It's TikTok, and it's a oh, guy. Oh, who... I thought you were talking about our TikTok. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, the, the TikTok. Oh, my. Play it. Play it so people can listen to it. Play it. Play it. Play it. Play it. Uh, let me see. I got to pull it up. Let me see. Let me see. Play it. Okay, so Steven is talking about this TikTok that he showed me right before we uh, started recording. Um, It's a topic for sure. It's a topic for sure. I mean, I'm not mad at her. Like, I feel like that's yeah. kind of valid. Yeah, I feel you. All right, so here it is. What's up? You ready? Yep. I did a threesome last night. Two men, me, two men, uh huh, okay. my dude, and yeah. another guy. Yeah, okay. So he wants to smack my ass yeah. really yeah. hard. Sure, sure. And you know what I told him? What'd you say? Motherfucker, this ain't your pussy. This is he. About the other guy. You see, like at that point right there, I'm kind of proud, you know, like yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like my girls that. get yeah, my girls getting railed by another guy. Like, yeah. You know but what it's I still mean? mine, you know what I'm saying? But it's still mine. <laughs> like, you have to visualize the position this man is in, and he is standing behind her. Yeah. Now and realize this and is she's a man. turned she's turned around saying these things, you know what I mean? Like <sighs> my heart <laughs> now, she's looking back over her shoulder now this is a man who is okay with this by the way this is a man yeah. who 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 is okay yeah. with this kind of sexual activity in his relationship power to him respect to him uh but his his girl has the respect she respects him enough to know where the line is in that relationship that's kind of that's kind of fire i ain't gonna lie to you that's fire that's the kind of girl you want i mean Depending who you are, but that's the kind of girl you want. Do you, you know, think, to take 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 the real. take the 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 sexual part of it out? You know, like what they're into, right? It's what they're into. Even if you're not into that, you want the girl that knows what the line is and that's gonna put respect for you as a man. Do you think? Do you think? Do you think that becomes something more open to like the younger crowd as you get older? Uh. Newer generation, is it it'd be more acceptable? No, no, no. I'm saying you oh. yourself, or oh. do you believe that? Because I feel like this is a common theme with like older people. I don't know if I belong in that older category, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I feel like it's such a common thing, or like, a much um, more common thing. Yeah, like just you know, when you're with somebody for a long time, as you get older. Uh, the common you thing know. is you you start to ex, uh, expand your sexual horizons, and, and you get you, you get just into more things. Get railed. As a, I I think it might be a progression. It might be all right. Let's try this. Let's try that. Let's try, let's try anal today, right? Or let's try, let's try my you do me this time. Like let's try. Let's try role playing. Like I, I think it's a <laughs> no, yo, stay with me. I think it's a lot of that. But wait, you could why you said you do me? You couldn't like there's a term for it, bro. That term is too vulgar. I don't want to say. It. Um, so she pegs you. Yeah. So I think that you do me. Um, <laughs> you do me. 
I think there might be a lot of that before you get to um uh, I see to a point where you like allow somebody else in the room. Or some people might jump straight into that. It just depends what you you find that you're into and what you're um secure about. Because there's young people that are swingers, they're not just old people, right? There's young people that that do this that have uh the devil's threesome, right? There's there's people that do that. So it doesn't necessarily have to be you get older, but I think once you get older, you're more open to doing those things uh, in relationships because you understand maybe, you know, your your partner might need something sexually you're not able to give them or and vice versa, and maybe you allow that. But All definitely right. not here to judge, you know, because you know anybody can judge today, and then in ten years they're in the same position, do in the same kind of relationship. So, but on that note, familiar with your for listening. Uh, we're gonna finish the TikTok, let you guys finish that, and then end it on that note. All right, make sure you just like, subscribe, do everything. All right, yes, sir. Matter of fact, start over, start from the top, start from the top for everybody. No, 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 start from copyright, the top. copyright, 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 copyright. You can only have a couple seconds, don't forget. <laughs> And watch what the fuck I do. You don't exit the stage left. Don't play with me. Oh, this is this is my second favorite part. Is uh be very aware of the way she pronounces things. It's my favorite part. This is last night. You should be grateful that this man is letting you fuck me and I'm letting you fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Best podcast in the world. <laughs>